Good morning. This is the Option Pit AM Volatility Report. I am Mark Sebastian, the founder of OptionPit.com. Reminder, this is for educational purposes only. None of this should be considered investment advice. Consult your financial professional options have risk. If you lose money, it is your fault. Uh, quick reminder, uh, we've got this event, Adjusting Positions and Managing Risk, on January 23rd. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do a lot of fun things. Should be a good time. Uh, you can also catch a replay of my risk management webinar that I did on Saturday. So here we are, and market gaps up and then sells off. So it feels like a uh, we keep repeating the same pattern. And you know, there's been general weakness. The weakest of the indexes has been by far. The Russell 2000, which has been getting slapped. Um, you know, what, what's different today relative to the other days is that uh, yesterday it took us really kind of getting down on the day a little bit before VIX finally even caught a bid. Here it's getting a little bit of a bid this morning. The VIX futures are catching a bid this morning. I mean, we're flat on the day and UVXY is up a buck and a quarter. So there is a bid for volatility today, which makes me think that you know, as we move off, today could be the day that VIX finally moves. You know, a lot of guys have been lamenting, hey, VIX isn't moving. Why isn't VIX moving? Why isn't VIX moving? And that is kind of what I think a lot of people are waiting for. They're waiting for the VIX to finally move. Uh, where could it move to? Well, a lot of people are looking for us to threaten the low from August. We're super close. The August low was intraday 1867 and I uh, and you know we, we could get there and I think a lot of people are looking for that and when we get there you may find some some bottom fighters however this sell-off has been totally different than the August one the August one was a complete panic this has not been that this has been orderly slow and ugly it's just been kind of one continuous beat down if the August markets off was a uh, a decapitation of the market. This has been more like Chinese water torture, and so the slowness could easily go beat through the uh, beat through the the lows from August. I mean, th there's a lot of people that will tell you they'd rather be decapitated than have Chinese water torture. And so if you think about the market and you think about what Vol's doing, maybe that's where we are today. Maybe there's a real issue here with that that type. So the question is, where to next? Well, you know, I still don't trust the market. I don't trust that we're going to be down on the day. I don't trust that we're going to be up on the day. I think the best thing is to try not to trade, to kind of take what the market gives you and not try and force trades that, that don't fit your profile. Sell puts and things that, I'm you know, I'm looking to sell puts and things that I want. And I'm looking to own puts and things that I dislike. Meanwhile, my overall tr market feel for the S&P and the NASDAQ and the RUD is bearish. Uh, and I have a bearish tr tendencies and trades on. That's, that's the way I'm viewing the overall market. And I think the market is behaving that way. Uh, on the day, we are lining up for that, I think, that test of the lows today. Uh, this could be the day that we actually finally do it. Uh, Vol seems to finally be getting a bid. Uh, I'll be interested to see whether we eclipse highs from last week, which were over about 27. So, uh, you know, if we get there and then we get a real push, uh, then then I think we've got a shot at, at, at maybe finding a floor. But uh, I've not felt any real capitulation at all in the S&Ps. Um, you know, we're, we're just now getting to the lows from yesterday. And, you know, when we blow through those, it'll be interesting to see where to next. And, and I do think we will. Uh, seems like we're, we're destined for a, uh, a seven, six, or a five handle for the, uh, maybe a five handle for the SPX before it's all is said and done. Okay, folks. Uh, if you have questions about our services or what we do, you can 
call us 888-TRADE-01. You can email me, mark at optionpit.com. Uh, on that note, I hope everybody has a great trading day, and we will talk to you soon.